In this video, I'll show you how to add extra product options to your WooCommerce store. Let's get straight into it. For example, the user can go ahead and choose the particular pattern which they want, and we're charging per meter. Here the users can see that it's $9.25 per meter, and then they can specify the length of the fabric in which they require, right? So for example, they might want a seven meter, and here we can see the price is updated accordingly. Okay, so if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to aovup.com. Go ahead and download the AOVOP product add-ons plugin. I'll leave a link in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. Assuming you've downloaded and installed the AOVOP product add-ons plugin, the next step is to go ahead and create our first product and then we'll add those extra options to that particular product. So we'll navigate over to products and then add new. Okay, and then for the price, we'll just leave it at zero. We'll leave the product type to simple product and then we can just go ahead and hit publish. All right, let's quickly view this product. Okay, so this is how it looks currently. So now let's go ahead and add those extra options to this product. So we'll head back over to our dashboard. We'll navigate over to AOV up and then product add-ons. We'll create a new option set specifically for this particular product. We'll just give it a name. Again, this is just for internal purposes. Okay, and then we get to choose which products we want to apply these extra options to. In this case, I'm going to apply it to a specific product which is a floral print, right? So we just search for it, select it, and then we'll scroll down. Okay, and now we'll go ahead and add our first option sets. So first I want users to choose the pattern in which you wanna purchase. So I'm gonna click add new option, and then we'll select a label or image. And then here we'll say something like, choose your pattern, right? Okay, and then for our first option, we'll just say print one. Again, you'll name it accordingly. And then I'm going to add an image so users can clearly see which design this is, right? So we'll go ahead and upload a pattern. Well, first let's choose this one. Okay, and then we'll add another option. And here we'll say print two. Let's do the same. One thing to note as well, here where it says price, we can either leave it as it is, so the price doesn't change, or we can increase or decrease the price, right? So I'm just gonna leave it as default, so no changes in the price. And then finally, we'll say print free, and then we'll add our design here. Okay, and then we'll just hit save. And then finally, we need users to choose the length of the fabric in which they require. So I'm gonna select the number field, and then for the title, we'll just say length. Okay, and then for the label, we can show users the price per meter, right? So we can say something like, so we can say 925 per meter, right? And then we can add a min or max range. Okay, so for example, we can say the minimum that a customer needs to purchase is four, is four meters, right? And then maybe the maximum we'll supply is 35 meters. Okay, so here where it says price, we'll select price increase. And then instead of setting a fixed amount, we will say multiply by value and we'll multiply it by 925 because this is our price per meter, right? Okay, so I'm happy with everything. Let's hit save once more. And now let's go ahead and refresh this product. Okay, so currently it's not working because when we initially set up this product, we actually left the price um, field empty. So WooCommerce requires us to enter in a price, right? So we'll just add a zero. Let's hit update and let's view this product again. And now we can see our options. Okay, so let's go through the flow. So first the user needs to choose the pattern, right? So they can choose print one, print two, and so on. And then here they can enter in the amount that they require in meters, right? So maybe they just want six meters of this particular fabric. And here the price updates accordingly. They can add it to their basket and then just check out as per usual. Okay, so one final thing before we close out this video is since we're setting the price to zero, we wanna actually remove this default WooCommerce price here. Since we're not charging for any optional extras, we can also remove this text here and then just show one value. So to do so, we'll head back over to our dashboard. We'll navigate over to general settings. Okay, and then we'll scroll down. And then here we will go ahead and enable this option where it says change the base price with the total calculated price. 
for the total price box option, we can change this to show only the final total and then just hit save options. So now let's refresh this page. Okay. And now that default WooCommerce is zero price and it's gone. And here we've only got one option for the total. So it just makes it more user friendly for our users. So they just wanted one meter. We can see the price here is $9 and 25 cents. 